Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Teresa from Teswick Emporium. I've got something very beautiful and very exciting to show you today, guys. Aspire Hair in the UK have asked me to review one of the premium human hair wigs for them. They've sent me the entry level for that brand called Rene by Folia. This is the more affordable version of Folia wig. So if you are very new to this brand but would like to try and see the quality of the hair, Rene by Folia is a very good place to start. I have been sent the 10LY version. She comes in various lengths. This is the shortest out of them all. So guys, should we have a look? So she does come in a very sturdy box like this. This color is called cappuccino. She does come with quite a dark root. I think this color is a little bit too dark for me. The rooting is a little too um, stark against my um, skin. So it's probably not the color I would go for um, personally. So she comes with some accessories as well in the box. So when you get her, she will come with little combs like that. So you can attach that to the cap just for a um, more secure fit. From this little description here, we can see this is a Rene Folia 10LY length. This is a medium cap size. Um, and the color code for, um, for cappuccino is 5035. This is just gorgeous. So I have tried her on already just to see how she fits on my head. And I must admit, guys, there are some things that I'm I've never seen before on a human hair wig. So I'm gonna tell you all about this in a moment. So she is a lace front wig. You will need to trim this lace once um, you try her on and once you're happy to keep her. This is made with a French lace front, which is not as hard and spiky as some of the welded lace fronts you might be familiar with. It's very soft and the color of that is blends in very well with um, a light skin complexion. The top of the wig is um, fully hand tied. She's not a silk top if, as some of the folio wigs um, at the highest spec. That's just a, a, a monofilament top. The cap itself is closed wefted. So this again brings the price down when you're looking at folio wigs. The more expensive folio wigs are all hand tied. So this is a wefted cap and there is a, a little bit of a stretch in the cap there. So as you can see guys, she's got this temple to temple lace front. She comes with like a little poly strip right here so you can attach some um, tape or use glue for extra security. I can see from here guys there are two um, layers of that lace. So the top layer is where the um, hair is attached to then the bottom layer covers that, making it, making it really soft. There is no irritation to the scalp at all. What I'm noticing is the ear drops are really long. They are really sturdy. They have a very strong metal stay in there, so it's, it's definitely not going anywhere once it's on your head. She comes with an extended nape, and as you can see, guys, that is something new that I've never seen before. She has this dip here at the nape, 
which actually makes sense because your head being round it had a natural curvature so if the nape is in a moon shape it can sometimes catch on the back of the neck and sometimes can lift when you um, tilt your head too far back. With that new dip here it sits perfectly on your nape. Again we've got those very sturdy metal stays there at the back and she comes with a, a hook type adjusters which can be adjusted if you can see that she's got little sections here that you can hook them into for a better fit now she does come in various sizes this size is medium and i can definitely tell it's a little bit too big on my head so if i was gonna go with folia or a nail folia i would definitely have to try the smaller cup now some of the other things i've noticed that are different to the other wigs i've tried is the profile of that lace front guys she comes with a widow's peak which to me personally it's a very new concept i've never had a widow's peak and i'm not quite sure how i feel about this yet um, so if i was going to keep it i would probably either pluck it or maybe request for it to be removed when um, when ordered remember that those wigs are totally customizable you can request um, to have them styled to have them cut you can choose the um, lace front uh, shade they do come with different colors lace fronts they are also totally repairable if you ever find that the lace has frayed or has been damaged by purchasing folia you are also purchasing a service cast um, after sales service so that's one of the reasons why you might want to choose folia is that you don't just get a wig you are getting a quality customer service afterwards guys this wig would last you years this is straight out of the box guys the only thing i have done is I tried to change the parting a little bit on the right hand side. Now the biggest difference guys is the hair quality. Oh my goodness, I have never ever felt human hair wig this soft. This is premium human hair, Remy human hair with cuticles intact. It feels so silky, so soft. If I can give you a comparison, I remember when I tried Picture Perfect by Tresselo. It is the same kind of softness. I remember when I tried it, I thought to myself, there is no way human hair wig or human hair can feel that silky and that soft until I felt this hair, guys. It is amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna try her on and show you what she looks like on me. And here she is. Absolutely gorgeous, guys. And as you can see, even though it says 10 inches LY, you can clearly see she's much longer at the back. Let me give you a spin first. So this is my left hand side. From the back and the right hand side I must admit guys I am very impressed with the quality of this hair and um, this is Folia's world select human European hair and it feels magnificent guys you can definitely tell this is not just your standard human hair wig not even a, a standard Remy human hair wig it feels luxurious and although this 
cappuccino shade doesn't quite suit me straight out of the box. Remember, this is human hair, so it can be lightened, it can be darkened, it can be changed to suit your needs accordingly. I will show you what this color looks like in a natural daylight at the end of the video. Okay guys, so let me show you that widow's peak. This is definitely something I'm not used to. So if you do have a natural hairline like this, you would love this wig, guys. It goes right back here towards the temple. The lace comes to here. And the ear depths come down quite far, providing you with excellent cover. They do come up here at the, um, just before the, the ear. So it comes down and then goes up again towards the back of the head. This cup definitely feels quite big on me. Like I said, guys, I would most likely need a small size cup. I wanted to show you this um, nape because it's really interesting. See how that dips at the back there. It's actually really clever and makes sense thinking about it. Definitely the cup sits on my head very secure. Even though it's a larger cup, this wig is not going anywhere, guys. Because of those very long, firm ear chubs here, the wig has a very nice base to um, stay on. The nape, again, is really long giving you that super support. You can also add a little bit of glue there at the inside of the cap on that little poly strip. So I don't even need to wear a wig grip for this wig to stay on, guys. It's incredibly comfortable. You will probably notice the hair is quite thick. It doesn't feel thick overall. I would say this is more of a light to medium density style, but the hairline is quite dramatic, I would say. You definitely need to add some baby hairs here around the front. It doesn't really help that this root is as dark as it is on me because I don't think it actually suits me that much. Definitely add some baby hairs here on the side, just to make it look even more realistic. Let me guys show you that part in here. You can see some of the um, tiny little knots. It's just like your standard lace front. Very much what I'm used to when it comes to human hair wigs. And what I did notice is there is like a lift in the um, base of the hair so you do have that little raise right here at the hairline. Now in order to change the part you do need to use some water and blow dry the part in place because it doesn't automatically stay parted where you want and this is quite common with um, most of human hair wigs you do need to pre-style the um, hair to be parted on a side that you want. Let me show you the ponytail here. So it's definitely a decent amount of hair. You can wear this in a high pony as well. Now with this cap being a little bit too big on me, I can feel some of the wefting um, gathering at the back there. Definitely need a small cap. But look how cute she looks in a high pony, guys. Gorgeous, isn't it? So if you are considering 
Investing into Folia Week, guys, I highly recommend that you make a face-to-face -face appointment at the salon. If you decide to go with Aspire Hair in the UK, this is what you're going to get with, with each Folia Week. We're getting a free care kit, which includes shampoo, conditioner and a deep conditioning treatment. You will get an official Folia Care Head and Clump set which is great for styling for um, drying and storing your wig you get a free cutting services and styling services throughout the life of your wig and you also get a choice of different color cost customization if required um, on the initial purchase. I hope you've enjoyed watching my review. I have definitely enjoyed playing with her and feeling this beautiful hair. Thank you very much for watching. If you do have any questions, let me know in the comments or drop an email to Aspire Hair, who are the experts of Folia. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.